Vashana Renee and thank you for tuning in to another Vashana Renee experience. I am here with Miss Jennifer Sadler. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing today? I am doing good. I see that you are well branded today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. She is the owner, CEO, president of mm -hmm. Mind of Made in Memphis. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. You have a lot going on right now, Jennifer. So I do. <laughs> we have a lot to cover today, so we're going to try to get it all in. So let's just start off with Connect Memphis, Made in Memphis. Those are both two separate mm -hmm. companies, or how, how does it work? Because I know that you you know you run both of them. Yes. So how, how does it work? Well, um, Connect Memphis started off as Rent My Memphis, okay. which was a place where you can find um, apartments, homes, venues, and services in the city. Okay. Started on my 25th birthday. Mm -hmm. I guess I had a little bit of insanity going on. Mm -hmm. um, but I got really well immersed in the community and figured out that um, I wanted to do more with my company, so I shifted mm -hmm. it to Connect Memphis. Okay. And Connect Memphis is a community-based firm. We develop products and services specific mm -hmm. to the city. Okay. So um, when I developed Made In, it started off as City Box, which mm -hmm. was a way to do a curated box featuring mm -hmm. sights, sounds, and flavors of the city. Mm -hmm. And then we made it into Made In, and Made In now is a, um, a website where you can find local-based products. So I do run a host of different kinds of things, mm -hmm. but um, Connect Memphis is the bigger brand, and then Made In is what we just launched. Okay, gotcha. Now, are you from Memphis? I am. You are from Memphis? Okay. Have you ever moved away, or you've always... I moved away for a couple years okay. ago to UT Chattanooga, and then um, okay. came back, graduated from University of Memphis, go okay. Tigers, <laughs> got my master's from U of M. Okay. Gotcha. So there is a genuine love for yes, Memphis I and the city. Blue. <laughs> okay, okay, gotcha. Because that's I know with some people here, they leave Memphis, they never come back, yeah. or <laughs> they're from here and they have so many negative thoughts mm -hmm. about Memphis. Like I'm not from here, so when I tell people that I love it, they're like, you know, really? But mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because I'm not from here, but it's kind of odd or different to meet someone that's from Memphis oh, that actually yeah. loves and appreciates mm -hmm. the city. So that's that's huge with you. So now I see that online you posted that buying local will soon be or one day be, you know, bigger than, you know, just going online and mm -hmm. buying from, you know, Amazon or something like that. So mm -hmm. do you truly believe that in your heart that <laughs> buying local is going to, you know, outweigh what the norm is? I do. I think that um there's a big, big buy local, shop local campaign that's going mm -hmm. out right now. It's been going on for a number of years. Mm -hmm. The only issue is that sometimes um, it's a temporary band-aid on a bigger problem. It's a um, campaign that will last three or four months mm -hmm. or maybe a year, but it doesn't have a permanent effect. Mm -hmm. And there are Amazons and Etsy's out there, and while they're good platforms, they don't give back to the local economy. Mm -hmm. So um, my platform, the difference with it is that if you're going to be online and shop anyway, mm -hmm. might as well do it within your mm -hmm. own local economy exactly. and get back. Exactly. Now, I saw the first time I noticed you was you were uh, putting together a box, which is now made in box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were putting together a box for Bruno Mars, which mm -hmm. I thought was outstanding. And so I was thinking, you know, how is she able to, you know, bring all these different entities of Memphis, put mm -hmm. them into this box to give it to this big, huge mm -hmm. superstar? How did you even, you know, how did you even have that opportunity to do that? Um, prayer. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> praise the Lord. Um, I put it out on Facebook and said one of my mm -hmm. dreams was to do a box for Bruno Mars when he came to Memphis. Okay. And one of my friends on Facebook had a connection who had a connection to him mm -hmm. and then just made that opportunity possible. So okay. I sent out really very discreet messages to the vendors I've been working with for a long time okay. and the ones that I wanted to highlight and said, hey, this box, um, we're doing it for Bruno Mars. Do you want to be in the box? And of course, the overwhelming resp um, response was yes. Mm -hmm, exactly. They gave music and food mm -hmm. and clothing items, just all their locally based products that you wouldn't have known about otherwise. Right. And we made it into a huge package and gave it to Bruno, and um, he really enjoyed the okay. items in the box. Okay, gotcha. Now, you said that you you know, sent messages out to vendors that you normally work with. Mm -hmm. How do you have like a standard or a small group 
of people or business owners or are you like just now branching out into others or is there only certain people that you want to work with or how does that work? I love to work with anybody that has a unique, fun product in the city. Okay. I run a um, website where we try to be as professional as possible, mm -hmm. so I try to give the best techniques to displaying their mm -hmm. product. I want people to go from having um, maybe an Etsy site where um, they're selling things out of their home to mm -hmm. building a business and having a brick and mortar location. Okay. So I do work with pretty much anybody under the sun. Mm -hmm. um, the only difference with things like Bruno Mars, and we d we've done more recently for Oprah Winfrey, okay. the difference with those is that um, there are a few vendors that I've been working with now for months mm -hmm. who supported me from the beginning. So when opportunities like that come along, mm -hmm. I definitely reach back to those who have been supporting exactly. me for so long mm -hmm. and give them the opportunity. Okay, gotcha. And how long have you been doing this? How long have you been in the business? The box has been around since about November mm -hmm. or... Um, October of last year. Okay. Connect Memphis has been around the Rent My Memphis since February of last year. So we're still new and really? thriving company. Yeah. yeah, it's still it's still a very well, new company. Okay, mm -hmm. well let me say this. <laughs> because I don't know, I guess I was thinking that this has been like a long running thing because it's so successful. I've seen like so many posts and so you know an event you had recently mm -hmm. where there were so many supporters and so many people there, you know, for made in. Mm -hmm. So it's like I was thinking that this is something that has been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. But to hear that it's just, you know, a little bit just not even a year yet or just over, just know, over, just a, over year. a year. Mm -hmm. It's like that's yeah impressive. How does that feel yeah. to know that, you know, something that you've started, you know, that you, you know, thought, oh well, I think I can do this or, you know, maybe I can, you know, mm -hmm. start something different. You know, how does it feel to now see that you just put a box together for Oprah? How does mm -hmm. that feel? It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, Connect Memphis has been around for a little over a year, made in not even a year yet. Yeah. To have the support from the community, really, it's just about finding those influencers out there, people mm -hmm. who are connected with groups of people, right. and asking them for their support. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been, it's it's nothing with God, honestly. Okay. It's just, I think people have um, limited, sometimes they limit their dreams mm -hmm. based on what they think they can do mm -hmm. without understanding that God is a limitless yes. God. Yes, yes, yes. I agree 100% with that. I know I'm guilty of it myself, but I have one more question before we go to commercial break. Okay. Now that you have put it out there that you're doing the boxes and you're doing made in, do you have tons of people coming to you that are, you know, looking to get involved with made in? Are there any businesses that you're like, thanks for, you know, inquiring, but this is not exactly the direction that I'm looking for? Or are you kind of accepting, you know, anyone that's doing something different? We have um, a category list of products, so okay. as long as they fit within those books, music, mm -hmm. art, um, the category list that we're launching off right now, mm -hmm. we're able to put those on the site, and okay. then we're branching off into other cities. Right now, um, we're looking at about 10 different cities. If you're okay. within those 10 different cities, then we can go ahead and launch your city. Okay. Um, as far as just like saying, you know, no, we're not able to use it right now, mm -hmm. we're really specific on made in the city products. So. Okay. Um, if you're a wholesaler, we're not able to put you on the site because okay. you have products that you might have bought from anywhere. Mm -hmm. And we're really focused on just the items that are really just made locally. Okay, gotcha. Okay, thank you so much. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. L3 Media is the Mid-South's premier videography and photography company, specializing in capturing all of life's greatest moments. Whenever you need talented and professional service for your events or business, L3 All right, we are back with Miss Jennifer Sadler. We are having good conversation here about loving Memphis, local love, which I like yeah. to call it. She is the owner, the CEO, made in, and 
Connect Memphis. She has a lot going on. So we're going to dig mm-hmm. right back in. Mm-hmm. Some of the businesses we were talking about earlier is that, you know, you have a group that, you know, has been there for you from the beginning. And mm-hmm. then there's others that are, you know, coming in inquiring. Mm-hmm. Is there a fee or anything like that that they have to pay to be? Because I saw this, too, on your site that you um, just kind of did spotlights of different businesses mm-hmm. and business owners here and there. Is there a fee for that, or is that just something you're actually doing out of the kindness mm-hmm. of your heart? <laughs> well, um, right now there's no fee. Mm-hmm. When you list on the on the site, it's completely free. Okay. Um, we only take a referral fee if something sells, so it's a good way to test mm-hmm. out your products. Like okay. you can put the Sean Renee cups right. on the site. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good way to test the market, mm-hmm. and um, there's no fee to list. Okay. And I spotlight just some different unique. Um, products that we have on the site. Okay. Now, when you say different and unique products, here's mm-hmm. the question that I have. Because, uh, like you said, not everyone is, you know, homegrown. Some mm-hmm. of them are, you know, purchasing from other places and bringing mm-hmm. it here and selling it. So, are you keen on or do you kind of shy away from people that are doing similar things? Like, if I make a skirt and the person over there makes a skirt... And, you know, we're both kind of doing the same thing. Do you kind of shy away from people that are doing the norm? Or you see a lot of boutiques here. You see Mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, makeup lines here. Mm -hmm. You know, do you kind of shy away from people that are doing, you know, things that are similar to other people in the city? Not really. Um, As long as they're not um, wholesaling products. Mm -hmm. If I have 10 designers with Mm -hmm. 10 different... 10 skirts Mm -hmm. that's 10 different skirts for 10 different brands so I'm totally open to that okay perfect I was wondering that because I know although there are a lot of local like you know people that do their own shirts Mm -hmm. and you know things like that is it you know does it get too competitive that you know you spotlight one and you know someone else like well I have the same thing you know why isn't she you know spotlighting me or something like that it just depends um those Mm -hmm. early adopters are the ones we really like to spotlight so if you have a clothing line or a product Mm -hmm. line out there now is the best time to (laughs) get on and we want to make sure that we have like the most professional photos on the Mm -hmm. site so we give just guidelines for everybody to let them know we're trying to make sure that your product is displayed Mm -hmm. as professionally as only possible okay because I saw recently that you mentioned um uh, on your site, not to have photos of you like taking pictures. Of yeah, it was on my. Um, but do people really like put? It was mainly on. on um, um, I posted on my Facebook page mm-hmm. because um, it wasn't. It wasn't for the vendors I already have because mm-hmm. they perfect pictures. They have yeah. amazing pictures. Mm-hmm. But I do get some inquiries where some of the pictures are like from the um, from the bathroom with the <laughs> cell phone, and it's not that that's bad, but it's just that in our studies we found mm-hmm. that if you have a white backdrop. Mm-hmm. And um, if it's taken from a studio camera, there are so, uh, so many right. amazing photographers in this city. Right. And they char- they don't charge that much for right. you to be able to get mm-hmm. yourself going. Mm-hmm. So um, just, you know, hire somebody really quickly mm-hmm. and take a couple of shots from a few different angles right. of those few outfits. It doesn't have to be in the mirror. Right. <laughs> Um, taking a selfie photo right, and then posting exactly. that to the world because that's not the best way right. to put your brand out there. Right, exactly. Okay, now you said studies have shown. So mm-hmm. do you research? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I got my master's in journalism, so okay. I'm very keen to mm-hmm. having to research every day. <laughs> okay, perfect. I love that. So you can't just say that, oh, she's just putting this stuff out there. You know it. Like, yes. this is something that you know you've learned. You know, someone has taught you mm-hmm. the art of, okay, I love that. Now, another thing that I love about you and what you're doing is that, how can I say this? Okay, Memphis can be known as being cliquish when you have like certain, you know, business owners. Like if you're my friend or, you know, we grew up together, then I'm going to support you Mm -hmm. and what you do, but maybe not someone that's doing something different. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you have so many different types of people that are involved with Made In, which I love. Is that something that you sought out to do, or is it something that kind of just happened, or, you know, how did that work out for you? You mean the vendors? Obviously? The vendors and your supporters in general. Oh, yeah. It's it's kind of, even I saw um, when you went to, I think, the farmer's market or something, mm-hmm. and you were just, you know, going around asking different yes. people, <laughs> and even there, there's a variety of different people mm-hmm. that you, you know, sought out and got information from. So how is that something that you, you know, in your mind, you thought, I don't want to be just 
in this particular community, mm -hmm. I want to reach out to everyone. It's actually probably a back thought for me. Mm -hmm. I grew up um, I grew up Buddhist before I converted to Christianity. Mm -hmm. So I was around Japanese Americans. I was around so many different right. ethnicities. My dad's mm -hmm. white. My mom's black. Mm -hmm. I have five different ethnicities <laughs> in me. So going out there and being inclusive is just mm -hmm. something that I was born into, okay, born perfect. to do. Mm -hmm. And I don't. Um, I, it's just it's probably a back thought. Mm -hmm. But when I go out there to meet people, it is um, something that. I want to make sure I'm different. I'm mm -hmm. not um, just marketing to one specific group of people. Right. I, I love that. I think that's the best way to grow. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's hard to grow when you're just looking for a specific group of people that may look like you or mm -hmm. may do the same things that you do. You know, you're kind of secluded into going only so far. Yes. You know, so yes. I, I love that. Now, with this being so different, like we just said, do you have any negative energy coming your way? Is everyone in the community, are they all supportive of Maiden? Have you had any backlash? How, how has that been? For the majority, it's been positive. Mm -hmm. um, the people that have supported me have seen my Facebook struggle. <laughs> they know um, just kind of like the things that I've been going through, mm -hmm. and they are fully supportive. I mean, everybody's going to have people that, um, that don't like what you're doing. And mm -hmm. to some degree, I talked to my friend last night who has, um, she has, she had some things that she was going through. I was like, yes, a normal conversation <laughs> that's not about startup life because right. we, um, we live in a little bit of a bubble. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are looking at what we're doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are seeing the kinds of things that I'm doing and they have their comments, mm -hmm. um, critiques and suggestions. I am open to criticism mm -hmm. as long as it's constructive. All right. And um, at the same time, you're going to have people that don't support you. Mm -hmm. um, as long as God supports me right. and I'm doing what he wants me to do, mm -hmm. I don't really have the time. I don't really, I don't have that much time to yeah. focus on negative attention. What naysayers mm -hmm. are saying. Yeah. Which to me is crazy because I can't, my mind can't comprehend what could be negative about supporting other people or being a platform for mm -hmm. business owners or, you know, local artists and local entrepreneurs. I don't, in my mind, I can't see it, but I know that it happens. I mm -hmm. know that it's possible, which hopefully that will be different sooner than, <laughs> than later. So uh, we are going to go actually to another commercial break. We're going okay. through these, but we are going to go to another break. We'll be right back after this. L3 Media is the Mid-South's premier videography and photography company, specializing in capturing all of life's greatest moments. Whenever you need talented and professional service for your events or business, L3 Okay, we are back with Miss Jennifer Sadler. She is here at branding at its best, rocking her made in, <laughs> made in shirt. And we are just talking about the love of Memphis, all the talent that's here, and basically how made in is, you know, putting them all into one place so you can love and appreciate Memphis as much as we do. So next we're going to dive into the future of made in because right now i mean it's still a baby technically yes it is mm -hmm. so i mean what's next for made in or you know when you think of the future of made in what are you most excited about okay well right now we're at seed stage funding okay. so um the thing that most people don't know is that for women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and startup companies less than five percent of us actually make it past seed stage funding or even get seed stage mm -hmm. For minority women, it's less than 3%. Wow. So I want to be that pioneer mm -hmm. that's able to get funding all the way through A and B, um, Series A and Series B, mm -hmm. get funding for my company, grow it to a billion-dollar company, be mm -hmm. able to be an investor in other small businesses, mm -hmm. especially women-owned businesses, minority-owned mm -hmm. businesses. I think that's how we grow. Right. But I want to have a huge company, kind of like Google, 
with a random T-Rex in the side <laughs> and sleep pods and just a fun atmosphere with a child care center because I have a daughter, I'm a right. single mother, I know how it is. I want to have a huge company where people are able to love on their different communities. Love that. Love the sleep pods. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Now that you just mentioned it, you being a single mom, mm-hmm. when your daughter, does she come with you to events and see, you know, what mommy's doing? How she does comes she with me everywhere? Okay, how does she yes. feel about like mommy? Is she like, Mommy, I wanna do what you're doing? Or does she have like her own she mindset? Has but the typical doctor and okay. lawyer. Um some well she wanted to make her own kids box. Really? Kids version of the box. Oh, so we're still working on that. Yes. Um, oh look at her. She's yes. a little entrepreneur herself. I'm already. trying. I'm <laughs> trying. By like ten, I want her to have her first company bill. But she comes with me, um, and I'm really appreciative to Start Co because um they've allowed me to bring her Every single day. I'm in their offices every day soaking up information. Mm-hmm. They feed me, praise mm-hmm. the Lord, um, and her. And, um, yeah, she's mm-hmm. she's just my tag along. She's okay. with me in presentations and meetings, everything. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. now you mentioned Start Co because mm-hmm. I've seen. Now, I um, met uh, Al, mm-hmm. Al Pickett. And so I, you know, have the gist of how it works. Mm-hmm. Are you able to give me a little bit more information of how you get involved with Start Co? Or is it just for small businesses? Or how does that work? Is it you go with an idea and they go from there? Or how does yes. Um, they work with all businesses. You can okay. come in with an idea and you're set up with a mentor and they're mm-hmm. able to guide you along. Okay. Starco is really, really interested in high-tech, um, high-growth startups. Okay. So when I started off at the, as the box, um, mm-hmm. it wasn't exactly scalable right now. Mm-hmm. But when I merged it into being an online platform... Um, they were really help, helping me to get it to a level of scalability. So okay. if you have a really interesting tech company, mm-hmm. they're your one-stop shop place okay. to go. Uh, Memphis Office of Resource and Enterprise is a one-stop shop for uh, minority and women-owned businesses, mm-hmm. and they're really great with getting me connections with different areas of Memphis. Okay, gotcha. So what's what's next for Maybe? Uh, what's you know, once you've grown mm-hmm. to do, do you want to branch off into like how you had, you know, started with Rent Memphis and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Connect Memphis, Made In. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Made In will be in, you know, several different cities. Yes. I'm already, you know, and then that's <laughs> going to happen. But is there another, you know, company that you want to start within that or, you know? Um, you want to just focus on Made In, making that the meat of... Yeah, I'm working name. on um, making Made In and um, growing it to be the best of my ability. Connect mm-hmm. Memphis is really the company that branches out and does different companies. Okay, gotcha. So Made In, I'm putting it in different cities. Want to take it global to be mm-hmm. in other areas because community can mean community of people. It can mm-hmm. mean communities smaller in right. the city, um, but then it can also there are areas that don't have cities. Mm-hmm. So um, their own communities can mm-hmm. post items there. Okay, gotcha. So do you have any particular city that's like on the radar right now to get up um, for Memphis or, or for right now we're looking mm-hmm. at Atlanta, mm-hmm. Washington DC, San okay. Francisco, New York, um, Seattle. Oh abroad, I would mm-hmm. love to set up for London. Okay. It's one of my big I've I've lived there for about a three month period to study mm-hmm. abroad. Absolutely love. Really? Mm-hmm. Now, do you know people in all of these places where you can call them up and say, you know, hey, made in, as you know? <laughs> it's a struggle. It's good. Okay. It's a struggle because I don't know people in all of the locations. Okay. Um, I know some in mm-hmm. some of the locations, but actually just getting out there, yeah. it's incredibly difficult. If you mm-hmm. all know people <laughs> in these different areas, you know, <laughs> contact me on the website because mm-hmm. I'm really trying to branch out there. And it, it, it is hard, mm-hmm. and I don't want it to be where you have to have necessarily feet on the ground in every single one right. of these locations mm-hmm. to get started up because that takes so long. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So now that we see where Made In is going, mm-hmm. we already know. <laughs> we know that. You know that you have your baby. Look, mm-hmm. she's going to be, you know, part of Made In very yes. soon. <laughs> she's my um, she's my shop local kid right now. Really? In the campaign. Yes. <laughs> Her back to school photo is the shop oh, local really? campaign to support schools. Oh, I, I love that. And how old is she? She's five. Five. Yes. Oh, wow. You already got her going. I, yes. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, another thing that I saw is like, uh, you've been on lots of, you know, different media outlets. Mm-hmm. You've been I saw in the newspaper. You've been on the news. You know, how does that feel to know that, you know, people want to know about what you're doing? It feels great. I love mm-hmm. the fact that the community supports something good and something mm-hmm. positive. So I'm mm-hmm. all for any opportunity that gets my brand out there okay. um, and supports part of the community. Mm-hmm. I'm all for it. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to 
lighten the mood a little mm -hmm. bit. And we're going to do a quick little game time, which I love okay. to do because I feel like as opposed to finding out about Maiden or Connect Memphis, we get to learn about you. That works. Okay. Yeah. So these are just some quick questions. Just kind of throw out the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, what do you do to relax? I pray. I read. I read and I pray. I go to a movie. Okay. I lock myself in a room and watch <laughs> endless episodes of Degrassi and oh. Seventh Heaven. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. Okay. Are you a spender or a saver? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm a spender trying to get to saving Same. life. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Now, when you were little, when you thought of what you wanted to do when you grew up, what is, was that thing that you wanted to do? I wanted to do films. Okay. I went to school for film and video production, and... Um, I used to take the camera and create scenes in my house. Mm -hmm. of, like my sister and I used to do random. Um, <laughs> back when they had video cassettes, um, we used to set it up, and I wanted uh, to be a film director. Oh, cool. Okay, so what is your biggest regret if you have one? You're still young, but <laughs> I try to live without regrets. Okay. Um, right now, man, I guess I put most of those in the in the background. So mm -hmm. um, I love that. I don't know, like, I, when I um, when I got pregnant in um, my second year mm -hmm. of UT Chattanooga, mm -hmm. I, some part of me wishes that I had stayed because I really liked, I really liked the people that mm -hmm. I knew there, um, but I decided to come back home, but it's not necessarily regret because mm -hmm. I got so much support when I came back, it followed, okay. it followed all in my path, so. Okay, gotcha. I, don't know. I try to live without regrets. Okay, do you have a biggest embarrassing moment? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um. That's probably when my Facebook was like in its infancy stage, <laughs> and um, you shared the club pictures that you really shouldn't have shared. Uh -huh. About the time when mm -hmm. um, when I was ready to get a job, I was like, delete, delete, yes, delete, delete. Yeah. <laughs> my little cousin, who I helped raise since he was born, saw one of my club pictures and said, who is that? Get out of here. Didn't even life. recognize me, so I was like, nope, yep, delete, 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 yeah. delete, delete. Okay, last question. <laughs> okay. If you could only listen to one album or CD or whatever they call these days, for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Wow, for the rest of my life. Um, wow, that's hard. Okay, so um, the album that's on my playlist right now is mm -hmm. Apollo Mighty. He's a local artist. Okay. Um, I've listened to his tracks dozens of times. If I had, it would be a compilation CD with Apollo <laughs> Mighty um, and um, Arian, who does. Um, um, she has the song Believe, mm -hmm. um, Artistic Approach, Tanya Dyson. It would be a mix, oh. a Memphis mix CD okay. featuring like all the local artists that I just adore oh, and love, love so much. It. Okay, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. You spilled the beans. You gave mm -hmm. us all the information. Now, of course, I always give my guests their time to shine, which mm -hmm. is just an area where you tell everyone how they can reach you, your website, your um Social media, mm -hmm. all of that good stuff. So this is your time. You go ahead, tell the people how they can reach you. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. well, um, the website is madeinmycommunity.com, and um, you can fill out a form if you wanted to contact me there. You can my The number on there comes directly to my cell. <laughs> um, but the social media pages on Facebook were facebook.com slash uh, made in my community on Twitter and Instagram where I shop made in the letter I and then shop made in. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much and for thank coming you. by. This has been great. Yes. We've gotten to chat about some things that we both love and yes. enjoy that we share in common. So this has been fun and I really appreciate you for coming. Thank you for inviting me and thank you no for problem. coming to the city of Memphis. And no bringing problem. Your amazing personality. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. It has been great. Hopefully you guys will, of course, support. Look out for her. She's doing some amazing things, which I love. So be sure to support her. Support local. Love local. Yes. It's mm -hmm. easy to do. It's yes. not hard. Just, it you know, mm -hmm. just do it. So, again, thank you for watching. And this has been another episode of the Vashana Renee Experience. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>